Kayla, please like and subscribe. It's holotivity time. <laughs> it is holotivity <laughs> time. <laughs> I was like, didn't realize it was coming. Or... <laughs> and here it is. Yeah, there it is. So yeah. Today's is a little different. It's not like, I can't really say it's positive, but it's positive, right? Like, I don't know how to explain it. Josh, sure. can you throw up the tweet? So this person, I actually <laughs> don't know anything about her, but she is gorgeous NFTs. And she tweeted out, FUD is a term that needs to be retired. Isn't that the truth? It's often used to suppress opposing opinions. The best part of Web3 is decentralization. Stifling others' views for your own is counterintuitive. And I cannot have said it better myself. I mean, I feel like FUD is so 2021 and we need to get, because it's being used so recklessly that it's not even like used as what it's supposed to be for. And so I just, let's retire that word. I hate that word. I hate fudders, FUD, all of it. I mean, instead of fudders, just call them assholes. Like it's okay. Asshole, yes. <laughs> yes. What about their tears? <laughs> <laughs> I can see your water bottle behind you. Oh shoot! Oh. I, I was supposed to. Oh my gosh! Yes. No more tears of fud. Gosh, no! I just have came to really hate that word, and I've really come to hate like people calling others fudders. Like they're yeah. not just fudding; they're just being jerks. Like that is a thing. It's okay to call them out like that. Just stop yeah. calling them a fudder. Like that's dumb. And half the time, the fudders are actually the right ones. So, yeah, he's yeah. talking. Look at other him. fudders. <laughs> there you go. So, um, but it, not all fudders are even um, assholes. No. Well, no, but I mean, they're <laughs> they're bringing up good points, and yeah, there's two different things, and nothing makes me cringe more than whenever I see project leads talk about fud. And when I saw some this week and I'm like, come on, you got to get over this. Like there is a reason people are questioning your project because nothing is happening. You know, if, if I'm in a token that is a reflectionary token and your volume is 50 or a hundred dollars a day, I got questions for you because nobody's making any money if that happens. Mm -hmm. So address those questions. Don't start talking about fudders. I think that I couldn't agree more with this tweet that yeah. I, I, I was just, I actually think we reposted it this week, but it was, it's something that needs to go away. We should be able to talk open and honestly and have a conversation. Yeah. Have a conversation just like we're doing right now. So it's okay. I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like if I was part of a project, I would welcome the questions because it's only making you look into something more, right? and making sure it's perfect or I don't, I just, I, why, why wouldn't you welcome the questions? There's only one reason I can think about me too. And I mean, I'll let you guys come up with your own theories, but I'll just tell you, Oh, I think the only, the only thing I can think of, and I'm not saying that I'm hundred percent right here is if you're trying to hide something. Otherwise, mm -hmm. why wouldn't you welcome constructive criticism? Yeah. I mean, we're not talking All about right. people being jerks. If you're just want to, be on there and to be a jerk, to be a jerk, then call it what it is, like you said. But mm -hmm. if it is like yeah. legit questions about a project, then let's talk about it. Or just say, I don't have an answer for you right now. I'll find yeah. out. I'll get back to you. You know what? And that's right. because, like I tell my coworkers, you know, all the time, if you don't know mm -hmm. the answer, you can easily just say, I'll get the answer and I'll get back to you. And I say it right. all the time. I'm not mm -hmm. the like smartest person in the world. I don't know everything. I know. Shocking. You're smart and great. Right. Wow. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with not knowing and saying, yeah, I'll get back. I don't have well, an answer for everything. I can right see people being prideful and not wanting to Mimo said admit their that. mistake. But I can see the pride getting in the problem. way of that, too. Yeah. Yeah, I could, but we got to put that aside. We've no, got to be done with that. that. 
Yeah. I, I just, you know, and the worst part, the worst thing I see is I hate when people have to actually point out this is an honest question. They mm -hmm. have to say that or else they're looked as butters. And so it's like, just, if you just answer your question that it's being asked, even if it's in asked in an inappropriate way, answer it. Answer it. Yeah. Those are the fun ones. Those are the fun honestly, for me because I kill them with kindness. I like throw it back on them. Um, but there's ways to go about it. And I just feel like teams need to really stop and think about it before getting their community to attack that person because you're just losing out. You're just losing out. Well, all so. along, we've been rooting for every project that we could think of, right? We oh, don't want any well, of them to fail. Fair. Yeah, I mean, but what's happening is you're starting to get people that are tired of that sort of talk. And now now they are rooting for you to fail. And that's just sad. The only people that have ever actually blocked us on X, uh, not, not speaking for Holly, but for the Crypto Bros account, are the people that considered us to be futters when we weren't. We're just trying to have a conversation, you know. And we've invited several people on before that didn't want to come on and have that conversation. And so we have to, at some point, put our thoughts together and just, decide what is right what is not because i don't know about you i work hard for my money i'm not just wanting to throw it away i want to make sure that i'm getting something out of it so but um yeah i think that was a great a great tweet um i agree 100 we used to talk about fud on this program a lot um and we don't really talk about that anymore because it was kind of like the battle cry for certain cults running around, you know, and we don't want to be part of that. We just want to be open, honest, and have conversations. So, yeah. so yeah. I think this would be a good point to tell the people what we're thinking about doing. So from this point on, not every week, but from time to time, at the, after we do our holotivity segment, we are going to have members of the community just on, just regular people on. And yep. this would be the time when we have them on. Um, we'll talk to them for a few minutes. Uh, let them go through Caleb's choice with us, get to know them a little bit more and send them packing before we get to crypto crypt, cryptic corner. So um, I think that's going to start wow. next week. Is that, <laughs> is that still the plan, Holly? Do we still know if, if our guest is coming next week? Yeah. He doesn't have a choice. Uh, he has wow. a choice. He doesn't have to sign on. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a choice. So anybody out there watching, if you are interested and being in that segment, and like I said, you don't have to be a part of a project. Um, you do have to show your face. So if you don't want to be doxxed, we totally get it. But if you do want to come on, you want to be a part of that segment, let us know. DM us. Um, don't put it in the comments here because I'm afraid we may miss it. DM Holly, whatever you need to do, let us know. Don't get your feelings hurt if you're not the first one because we've already got a couple people lined up. But we would definitely love to have anybody that wants to come on be a part of the segment and be a part of the podcast for, I would guess you would be willing, you would be given up 10 to 15 minutes is probably what the segment would last going through Caleb's choice too. So.